shall we pray? Father God, I want to thank you for this morning, for the grace to come and worship. I pray that the presence of the living God divine in this temple will bring blessing to every life in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Spirit will breathe on me and will grant me the ability to preach for your glory this morning in Jesus' name. Use me for your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This morning I'm grateful to the Lord for giving me this grace and this great opportunity to come to the U.S. I'm grateful to the U.S. Department of State for the fellowship called the Fulbright Scholarship. I'm grateful because without that scholarship, I will not be able to come to the U.S. with my family and be looking for my Christian brethren and fellowship with them. That's why I'm grateful to the Lord and I'm grateful to the U.S. Department of State. Amen. I'm grateful to Bishop Rowe and his wife and the assistant pastor for the welcome, for accepting somebody they have never met before to come and share the pulpit. Pastor, I'm grateful. May God bless you. I have brought this morning to you the greetings of my dear friend, Bishop Bo Timothy, who is the assistant superintendent for Church of God in West Africa, Amen. Amen. countries. Amen. Amen. We have been a close friend for more than 25 years, and I, and I, I and I, and, and I, I, I think it good that in the U.S. I needed to visit his church in the U.S. That's why I came to here. I came here some time ago and discussed with Pastor, and Pastor gave me this great opportunity to come and preach Amen. this morning. Amen. I pray that the Lord will use this moment. Yes. For his glory. Yes. Amen. 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 Shall we read from the book of Genesis, chapter 22, verse 18? Genesis 22, verse 18. There the Bible said, And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Amen. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice. Genesis 37, we read now verse 2. These are the generations of Jacob, Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren. And the land was with the sons of Eliah, of, 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 of Bila, excuse me, and with the son of Zepha, his father's wives. And, Jesus, and Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. May God bless you. You may be seated. This morning, I'll be talking to you about this young boy of 17 years old, Joseph. I will be talking to the youths in this church. There are very few of them. But I will pray a special prayer this morning. They will come back to church. Say amen to that. Amen. 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 I will be talking to the parents in this house. And I'll be challenging somebody that he needs to be like Joseph. My 
my Lord. And I will be challenging somebody that his son will be like Joseph. His daughter will be another Josephine in this generation. Amen. 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 The Lord made the promise to Abraham many, many, many years ago before the birth of Joseph. Actually, God raised Abraham. You know the passage that the Lord raised Abraham. He wanted him to become a blessing. He wanted him to become a spring of blessing. Yes. And he promised Abraham that he would become great, he would become famous, he would become popular. And he told him, he added to him that all the nations, all the countries, mm -hmm. all the citizens of the earth shall be blessed yes. in your seed, Amen. in your offspring. This is the promise I would like the Church of God Silver Spring to claim this morning. My Lord. The Lord told Abraham, my agenda, my plan, my purpose, raising you up, is that you will become a blessing. Yes. Because I would like to bless the whole earth yes. through you. Yes. Amen. And God said, all the nations. All the nations of the earth shall be blessed based through your offspring. Yes. That's why I used to tell my people there is no hope for the nations of this world without we Christians. Because we are the offsprings of Abraham. Amen. If you are born again, if you are washed by the blood of the Lord, you are part of the offsprings of Abraham, Amen. the seed of Abraham, yes. and this promise concerns you. So, the promise was laid. Abraham begets Isaac. Yes. After Isaac, Jacob came, mm -hmm. and now there is after Jacob the mention of somebody, Joseph. Yes. Jacob had many many other children. Yes. They didn't mention the name. Mm -hmm. The young people in this house, listen to me. I would like that when they will be writing, they will be writing another story about God's children. Your name will be part of them. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Joseph decided that he will become part of this promise God made several, several years before his birth. That's, right. That's why this morning, I would like you to pray this prayer with me. Make me a channel of blessing. Make me a channel of blessing. Make me a channel. This is the title of my message. Yes. Make me a channel of blessing. Make me a channel of blessing. Make me a channel of blessing. Joseph, at the age of 17, decided to become a channel of blessing. Yes. Because he has discovered the purpose of God the plan of God, the agenda of God upon his life. Yes, amen. If you do know the purpose of God, the plan of God upon your life, you will not live your life anyhow. That's right. If your sons and daughters discover the beautiful program, the beautiful agenda yes. of God upon their life, they will not live their life anyhow. That's right. Joseph discovered the plan of God upon his life. And when his brethren, his brothers, will be doing evil, he will not cooperate with them. What will he do? He will come to his father and report the evil deed of his brothers. I pray that there will be another Joseph in America in these days. Amen. Amen. In these days of immorality, in these days of sexual immorality, in these days of all kinds of evils, may God raise another Joseph that will not cooperate, but will report this evil doings. Amen. 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 Joseph discovered the plan of God upon his life. He wanted to separate himself. Yes, yes. 
He wanted to come apart for this plan of God to be fulfilled. Amen. May somebody separate himself. May somebody come apart and ask God, make me a channel of blessing. This morning we'll be talking about Joseph as a channel of blessing. You will see this man as a channel of blessing. In the book of Genesis chapter 39, in the book of Genesis chapter 39, from verse 2, you read the report that the Lord was with Joseph. That's right. The Lord was with Joseph. That's right. And I pray that the Lord will be with our children. Yes. Amen. That the Lord will be with you. Amen. And that the promise God made to Abraham My Lord. shall be fulfilled in these days through you and through me, through your sons, through my son, through your daughters, and through my daughters in Jesus' name. The Lord was with Joseph. And something important I would like you to note in, in Genesis chapter 39, verse 5, is that Joseph got a job somewhere in Egypt, in a foreign land. He was a slave in that heart. The Lord was with Joseph, and his master discovered that this man is a special man. My Lord. Amen. I pray. I pray. Yes, sir. That they will see you as a special person. Amen. From today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And the master discovered that this man is a special man. And he appointed him overseer over his house. Yes. And all that he had, he appointed him overseer. But something happened. And I would like you to discover that. In Genesis chapter 39, verse 6, and it came to pass from the time the master had made him overseer in his house and all the way that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. Yes. Oh. That's right. The Lord blessed the house of the Egyptian because of Joseph. That's right. Because of who? Joseph. Joseph. Yes. Because of Joseph. My Lord. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. The Lord blessed Joseph. And the Lord blessed the business of his master because of Joseph. Yes. I pray that somebody will be a Joseph in this land. Yes. Hallelujah. That in that business where you are working, that the blessing of the Lord will just come upon the business because you are there. A danger will escape them because you are there. Yes. An accident, they will escape. Because you are there, a, a misfortune, they will escape. Because you are there, yes. a sickness will be healed because of your presence. Yes. Yes. Joseph knew the purpose of God upon his life. My Lord. And he separated himself. He was a blessing at his place of work. Yes. How many of, 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 of us here? You are working and then they, 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 they even want to sack you. <laughs> how, how come? You are working and then they, they, they don't need, they, don't, they, 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 they are giving the impression that we don't need this person. <laughs> Something will change from today. <laughs> mm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. From the time he had made him overseer, <laughs> from the time you will marry that gentleman, he will know that somebody has entered has entered his life. Amen. Amen. From the time you will marry that lady, My Lord. something will change. Yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Because you are a blessing. Yes. Amen. 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 Joseph was a blessing. And not only at the place of work, he was a blessing in his community. Yes. Do you remember the story of Joseph in prison? He was in prison and the other inmates were sad one day. That's right. And he went to them and he asked them the question, why are you so sad? Why are you sad today? And they said, we, and they narrated the problem. We are sad because we had a dream and then Nobody here to explain the dream to us, to interpret the dream to us. That's why we are sad. And Joseph seized the opportunity to exalt God My Lord. in that prison. Amen. And he told them, 
Do not interpretations belong to God? There are people in your community, in your apartment, in your neighborhood who are sad. Come on, preacher. There are people in your schools, in your colleges, in the in universities. They are sad. Because there is nobody to help them. There are people, hopeless people around, sad, and it would take a Joseph to bring joy into their life. I pray that you will be that Joseph for today. Before I came to the U.S., I organized a great program in my university back home in the month of May. And there was a lady that attended the program. She gave a testimony later on to my wife that she attempted suicide three times ago. She wanted to kill herself several times until she saw the flyers that we are organizing the program for students on the campus and she attended that program. And at the program, she gave her life to Christ. And she said, because of this program, she now has hope. She will no more kill herself again. Hallelujah. Somebody is disappointed, somebody is deceived, Somebody is sad, and it will take a Joseph to bring joy and life to him. Amen. I came to the U.S. some months ago, and then I received a testimony from my people that one of the students went into his class to preach Jesus. Because over there, we are not ashamed of Christ. Everywhere we go, we lift up Jesus and put it down to shame. So, the guy went to preach. And after the preaching, a gentleman came to him outside the classroom and told him, Thank you, brother, for your preaching. Because I plan to kill myself before the end of the week. Why will he plan to kill himself? Because he is disappointed. No, no hope in him. He is sad. He doesn't believe he can make it anymore in life. And he thanked my brother for the preaching that he planned to kill himself and now he has surrendered his life to Christ and he has denied that devilish project. Hallelujah! Lord, I pray that somebody here will become a Joseph in America. In all over the world. Jesus' name. Joseph was there. He was there in the prison. And right in that place, he brought joy. He brought life to somebody. He didn't consider the fact that he was treated unfairly Amen. and unjustly. He was not weeping. But right at that moment of misfortune, he was still a blessing. As the Lord promised Abraham, that all the nations of the earth shall be blessed through your offspring. Amen. Amen. It was not just a blessing at his place of work. Not just a blessing to his friends and colleagues. And to the people in his neighborhood, in his community, he was also a blessing to the authorities of the land, to the officials of the land. Yes. You remember, Pharaoh had a dream. That's right. And he was sad. And that big king, that great king, My Lord. had need of somebody small and little. Joseph, 17 years old Joseph, a teenager who could have messed up his life in immorality, but said, no, I know the plan of God for my life. God would like me to become a channel of blessing. I will not cooperate with evil. 
I'm challenging somebody this morning in this house to become another Joseph. Amen. And the king failed. Called upon Joseph from his prison. And they took him out of his dungeon to come to the palace. They will have needs of you. My young people, they will have need of you in the coming days. Because in the agenda of God, they cannot do without you. All the nations of the earth shall be blessed through the offspring of Abraham. That's the plan of God. And nobody can cancel this plan. It has been established forever. Yes. 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 So Pharaoh called upon Joseph, come. And he came. And right there in the front of the king, he told the king, it's not me that interprets a dream. I'm speaking French to you. <laughs> I don't interpret dream. But the Lord in heaven the Lord. Yes. interprets, give interpretation. Yes. Yes. We will preach to the kings of these nations, My Lord. the president of this nation. Amen. They will have need of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So Joseph brought the interpretation and by so doing has become a blessing to the authorities of the land. I pray that somebody will become a Joseph. My Lord. Amen. Not just the authorities of the land. It was a blessing to his family. Yes. You remember at the time of the famine, his family was starving. They were about to die. My Lord. And they came to Joseph to have food. Yes, Lord. People in your house yes, Lord. will survive Amen. because of you. Say amen to them. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Young people. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. People in your house, in your family, mm -hmm. will no more die mm -hmm. because of who? who you are. You. Amen. A channel of blessing. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Something curious. And I would like you to see it with me. I would like you to see it with me. Joseph became a blessing to the whole world. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. But before that, do you know that at the time of the famine, Joseph became a blessing to his nation? Amen? He's, he became a blessing to his nation. The nation survived. The nation became powerful because of Joseph. The nation became great because of who? Because of Joseph. Lord, raise up another Joseph for America to become great. Mm. Amen. Amen. Jesus name. There was no food anyone else except in Egypt in those days. Because Joseph designed the whole procedure. Because Joseph gave them the how they should behave in order to survive. The Lord will put wisdom in you yes. as a young boy, as a gentleman, as a lady this morning. This is a special day. And the Lord will impact our youth and our children. I told you already, I will pray a special prayer. They will come back. Amen. Mm. Amen. I, I believe what I'm saying. And they will no more be a problem. They will become a solution. Everywhere they 
and cool. Everyone is sad. In the name of Jesus. About 18 years ago, there was a gentleman dying, and he was attending our school fellowship, and I was called, and I went there with my close friend, Bishop Timothy Bo from Church of God. In those days, we are just uh, young boys, in those days, and we went there. And the guy told me, he was a, a, a tall guy, he didn't have time for God. And he told me that he went somewhere, he ate something, and he was poisoned. And he said, Brother Ju, I'm going to die. I will die very soon. I said, you will not die. He said, hey Ju, see, 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 look into my eyes, see the, see the eyes. In fact, if you saw the eyes in that moment, your, your faith will, will, will shake a little bit. And I say, you will not die. Because we have arrived. You will never die. Amen. And we pray, 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 pray. We pray Pentecostal, charismatic prayer. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yes. And after our prayer, I would like somebody to spend his uh, oh, yes, Lord. his uh, Jesus, childhood and uh, youth like me. Because I was not a problem to my parents. They Everywhere they go, they are proud of me. Amen. I was not a problem to my pastors, no. Amen. They are proud of me. Amen. Though I was young, they, they liked me. Yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. So after the prayer, I told the, the mother of the guy, eh, I would like you to take your son to hospital. And he told, she told me, that guy, well, oh, he, he doesn't have life anymore. He will die very soon, surely. So I don't need to waste my money in hospital. I said, what? Despite all my entreaties, she will not listen and take her son to hospital. I said, what? And I and my friend, we went to my friend's brother in those days. I'm telling you a story of 1997 to borrow money from his brother. Mm -hmm. And we took the gentleman to hospital. Mm -hmm. And when we reached the hospital, the, if you see the faces of the doctors and the physicians, you will know that this one will surely die. Oh my God. <laughs> but we didn't yield and give up yes. to what yes. people were doing. We believe God. And we pray that this one will survive. Yes. To cut the long story short, right. after some days, he got healed. Yes. Recently, I called him from U.S. And I called him back in, in Togo. Amen. I say, come here, Gubli. I am launching a project. I would like to build a sanctuary on my campus, University de Lomé. I would like to build a sanctuary there. How much would you like to give me? Because he has now become a big CEO. Yeah. How much would you give me? He said, I don't know. But, you know, I have been building churches all over the, the country. So I would be more than willing to, to build now that is our own turn. The turn of my people. Because he considered me as his people. Amen. That I will be more than willing to take part in this project. And he told me that he will start with uh, one million CFI. It is uh, one million CFI is uh, two thousand dollars. He will start with that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am just giving this 
testimonies so that you will see this. Yes, yes. A young boy, a young lady in this house, in your house, can become a source, a spring of blessing. Yes. A channel of blessing to this nation. And if somebody like you can become a channel of blessing, not just for your family, not just for your place of work, not just in your neighborhoods, but for the whole nation, you can become a blessing. Togo, you will hear of Togo not because of the soccer players in the coming days, but because of people like us. Amen. Because so many of them are taking positions in our country in these days. And people are proud of them. Because somebody has influenced them. They are brave that the Lord will find a Joseph in this house. Yes, yes, yes. Joseph was also a blessing to the whole earth. That's what I would like you to read with me before I end. In the book of Genesis chapter 41, verse 57, and all the countries came unto Egypt to Joseph. Let everybody say Joseph. Yeah. Joseph. All the countries came to Joseph to buy corn because the famine was so sore in all along. A solution, not just for his nation, but all the nations and all the countries. A young boy, we just read his age, 17. But he allowed himself to become a channel, a vessel, an instrument of blessing. That's the challenge. Somebody would like to make himself available to God. If you want to make yourself available to God as a young man, as a young lady, you will run away from sin. That's what Joseph did. You will not cooperate with sin. You will distinguish yourself. You will like to make a difference. You will like to set yourself apart. How? Why did Joseph say no to the wife of Potiphar? Why did he say no? Because he knew that I am a channel of blessing. Yes. If I commit sin, God will run away from me. Mm -hmm. That's true. And I will become a problem to my parents. Yes. Yes. Mm. I will be a problem to the nation, to my society. Mm -hmm. I will no more be a blessing. No. But the Lord make you a channel of blessing. Amen. Yes. Lord. It will start today. In the last days. In the last days. That great day of the feast. Jesus made a declaration. And he said. Jesus stood and cried. Saying. If any man test. Let him come. He that believeth on me. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of my belly, Lord, I pray that rivers of blessing will flow in the name of Jesus. Make me a channel of blessing today. Make me a channel of blessing, I pray. My life possessing my service blessing may be a channel of blessing make me a channel of blessing today yes lord make me a channel of blessing i pray my life possessing my service blessing May me a channel of blessing to them. I pray that you will not miss your destiny. 
I pray that you will not miss the purpose of God upon your life. That you will make people survive. You will make people happy. You will bring people together. I pray that your nation will have need of you. Amen. And that the all nations of the earth will have need of you. Because you have made up your mind to live a pure life, a holy life, a life of holiness. You will not compromise because others are doing it. You will not do it because of others. You will separate yourself as a young man, as a young woman. Your parents, your pastors, your leaders at your place of work will be proud of you. Even the enemies of Joseph could not survive without Joseph. I pray that your enemies will not be able to do without you. I will repeat again. I pray that your enemies, those who are attempting to kill you, to stop you, they will not be able to do without you. Amen. Amen. Because you are an ordained spring channel of blessing. The Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Amen.